Welcome everyone. This is the Jenkins Governance Meeting. It's June the 16th, 2021. Thanks for being here. Um, we've got agenda items, including news, contributor summit, deprecating Ruby runtime, Jenkins funding updates, plug in end of life policy, possibly. Uh, I had put LFX mentorship budget, but I'm not sure I've got anything to talk to it and discourse. Any other topics that need to go on the agenda for today? No, that sounds a great plan. Okay, great. And let's keep it brief and to the point. So by way of news, Contributor Summit is coming June 25. We'll talk about it in more depth later in this meeting end of the month, we've got Jenkins 2.289.2 .2 coming. And we've switched from Freenode to Libra for our IRC chat system. And the discourse proof of concept is ongoing. Can I just ask one question regarding RC? If, if my understanding is correct, we updated the documentation on Jenkins.io, but we did not send the blog post. So most of the people are not aware of the fact that we are moving um, RC network. I don't think anyone who goes to Freenode will be checking either the website or the blogs. So, I mean, it's good to do, but I don't think anyone will, it won't change anything. Okay, I, well. I, 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 know, I know at least some people in cloud bees who from time to time go to, to RC channel to ask questions. Um, yeah. They were surprised last week that nobody was answering questions anymore and they did not follow um, all the drama around free nodes. And so that's what I mean that we should write a small blog post. I mean, it doesn't have to be really big, just like um, the buy free node is dead and we are moving. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not saying don't do that. Uh, Oleg did, excuse me, Oleg did comment on Twitter about it. I don't know anywhere else. <coughs> Sorry. Um, no, it's, it was a comment on Twitter, but there's no blog post and all the documentation was updated. So we're about half there. I get annoyed at half done tests. I also don't know how much we want to support IRC anymore because it's getting pretty dead. Yeah, so uh, it feels like no harm for us to blog the change. I'm happy to, to do something quick and easy. Any objections from others if I do that? I think that would be nice. Um, I remember that we wanted to discuss about switching from RC to something else. I think the first move was first to leave Freenode because, um, yeah, because of Freenode. Um, next, I mean, we, we can then introduce a discussion about if we want to use metrics or something else. Uh, Great. But at, yeah, at, at least for now, we just want to be sure that we leave free nodes and everybody's aware of that. I think, yeah, say we're, we've are we left, uh, throw in a comment saying there's also Gitter and there's also Discourse. Great. Don't, like, don't do direct them there, but that way, if there's only 10 people in IRC, they have other options. Right, okay, Gitter and Discourse. Um, good, all right. I'll do it. You should see that later today. Okay, Gavin, anything you want to report for us since we've got you on the hook there for discourse? How's it going? Or Olivier, my perception is it's just great. What? So, Gavin, maybe you want to share that? Yeah, okay. I mean, there's not a lot to share. Uh, it's going pretty well. We have, I don't know, I haven't looked recently, but like, 40 or 60 users, about 20 of them are posting stuff. So it's pretty good. Um, as Oleg pointed out in Twitter, I really like the show off category because a lot of people are posting all kinds of things like the books they've written and you know, upcoming plugins. Tim did the Blue, Blue Ocean thing. So generally I'm pretty happy with the way this is going and I'm hoping we can cut over more and more things to it because it does work really well. Excellent, yeah, so here's a a trend chart posting from Uli. All right, great. And I think we'll, we'll cover a little bit more uh, about this course during the Jenkins, the contributor summit anyway. Great, so all right. That, that will be part of the discussion. Okay, last item of news, not a big news item, but just be aware that my thing that was going to take me out 
has been canceled because of health quite concerns. Next topic, so Contributor Summit, Olivier. Sure, let me share my screen if you, if you want, because I would like to share the, the studio. You bet. So um, if you're new to the, to, to the to discussion, so next week we'll have a Contributor Summit and we are still discussing about how to organize the day. Um, we want to obviously add that some major change in the Jenkins project, I mean, initiatives that are running right now. We would like also to have a discussion um, in the, well, so let me share my screen so you can see this video first. Um, where is this? So I hope you can see the screen here. Um, so, so yeah, before I introduce what the schedule is. So we, we would like to cover different kind of area. We would like to highlight project update. We would like to update, uh, highlight um, SIG updates. Um, we also want to take this opportunity to uh, to discuss major changes that we want to bring to the to the Jenkins projects. That's something that we usually do during the contributor summit. And we would also like to save some space for highlighting um, some specific work like uh, on a specific plugin or whatever. Something important to keep in mind is the, um, the time is aligned with the silicon, which is um, East, US, East US um, time zone. Um, so it will, so I, create, I created a draft for the day. So the first thing is obviously because the amount of people on different time zone, I just put the major and time zone, so just to help you identify if it's possible for you. And then we would have four main categories. The first one is project update, as I said. Earlier, you can expect update from board members, officer of the Jenkins project. I was thinking to have a contributor track. Um, initially, my understanding was we were on the PDT time zone, so we, um, West Coast, um, which was a little bit more difficult for people from Europe but we don't have that constraint anymore. So something that I would like to suggest is we first do the project update, then we do the SIG update, and then we continue with the contributor track. So we have um, more people from um, everywhere in the US. So that's, a, that's the, the, the main categories. And then we would finish the, the, the conference with various presentation, many different topics. We can have a uh, presentation with, let's say, Jenkins, Jenkins X, um, open tele telemetry plugin. We have many options there. What I need right now is to finalize the, um, the, the schedule. So I'm really looking for feedback on this schedule. And also, I'm looking for people um, to either talk or lead discussion. So for instance, in the case of the project update or seek update, the idea is to have someone who can do a quick update, five or 10 minutes. But in the case of the contributor track, the idea here is more to be a moderator and to drive a discussion. So we would like to have as many contributor interested by those specific plugins, topics. So those plugin, those topics that we identify, um, I mean, we can still change those topics, but one of them is, plugin end of life policy, several people bring, I mean, that they would like to introduce, let's say, policy to, to deprecate some plugin. And I think that's a great, good, uh, I mean, that's a good place to discuss about that. Um, we always a session on contributing to Jenkins. Um, Mark will lead that session. He, he, do, he does a pretty good job uh, on that area. Um, some people reported that they would like to discuss about how to upgrade Guava in Jenkins. I'm not a Java developer, so I cannot go too much into the details there. Um, but I know that Baptiste, Baptiste was interested to lead that discussion. Oleg requested um, a session on the outreach program that we would have in the coming months. Is this something that I have to identify um, if someone else can take the lead on this one? We would like to have a discussion on Java 11, um, Java 8, and obviously Java 17, because Java, Java 17 will be the new LTS, uh, Java LTS release in September. So if you are interested by that topic, feel free to manifest yourself. And finally, another session that I would like that I would like to cover is governance, because we will have governance in, uh, around October and November. Um, that would be the third time that we organize the election on the Jenkins project. We organize two times following two different processes with different kind of results. And so I would like to go back um, in time to understand what we did well and what we want to change based on our last two attempts. So those are the contributor track. If you have any other topic you want to bring, feel free to manifest yourself. You still have one week to change. 
Um, SIG updates, I'm still trying to identify people to, to, to do an update uh, here. I'm trying to convince and try to find a way for people from Azure to, particip to participate as well. So yeah, I'm trying to be to find a solution for them. And yeah, any question? So I'm interested in the Java 11 topic. If Tim doesn't feel like leading it, I would be willing to lead it. I, I don't want to let that one drop from the, the agenda. Okay, good to know. Thanks. Um, question for you, Ulrich and uh, Kevin. If you have a specific topic that you want to cover during the contributor summit, um, yeah, feel free to manifest. We also have to work on the slide for the project update and the SIG update. Yeah, I myself uh, can't participate because I have lectures uh, the whole day. And that's, yeah, almost this, the whole time slot is during my lectures. So I'm sorry that I can't help here. At least no, I fine. can't yeah, speak. That's, that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there are always solutions. It's also 6 AM for me, so I... Beginning, I mean, I don't, be, yeah, for, for you, beginning, I know it would be difficult. Well, I mean, I, I mean, on a good day, I get up at like eight, so I mean, I can get up early, but that's getting for those so two you, days. So um, you, either way, I'm not totally signed or uh, interested in presenting anything right now, so if I don't have to, I'd rather not. Okay, good to know as well. Um, yeah, that's fine. I just need your confirmation. Um, otherwise, we have another Google Doc. Um, do I have a link to this one? Let me see if I can find it. I think I have it open. So I, I'm also looking for feedback on this one. So I'm trying to find it. I'm, I'm going to put the, the link to the, to the agenda. So here, this one. So what I'm looking, um, so we started, so we started to when Google Doc um, to explain the more in detail and a Google Sheet to have a, a big picture ID of what we want to do. If you have some ideas for the unconference part, so let's say a small presentation on Jenkins, um, or no people who would be interested to participate, um, I'm looking for speakers in the last session. So, so right now we have, I'm looking for Jenkins and Tekton inter, interoperab interoperability. Um, I, I, I got confirmation that we can have a session on Jenkins and Jenkins X3, Jenkins and the open telemetry plugin. Um, and the work done by Elastic. And yeah, I'm looking for more topic here. I think that's all for me on the, on the, on this topic. So Olivier, one of your questions was okay to, is it okay to switch the order as you proposed? Um, I'm just gonna call for a vote. Any dissent or plus one from everyone, please. Is it okay that he, we take his agenda as he's proposed it? So, so the suggestion to move the contributor track a little bit later is that it will be easier for Gavin to participate. Mm -hmm. Fine. So, fine for me, yeah. Okay, fine for me. Perfect. Randall, thanks for joining us. Want to express your opinion? Um, I'm Eastern time, so I'm usually up at five o'clock in the morning to feed my cats. So time is not really a problem. Great. All right. And Gavin, you okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I don't know how much I can participate anyways, but yeah. Understood. Thanks, Gavin, very much. Dave, so we've got a, a plus ones all around for the schedule as proposed. So that's great because then tomorrow I finalize the schedule and start promoting it. Excellent, thank you very much. Any other topics we need? Let's see, an, a draft email, invitation email has been posted. 
Uh, Olivier gave some feedback there, suggesting we should use discourse as the contact point. Uh, I'm, I'll create a new topic under the contributing on discourse and invite people to reply there. So that way we'll try to motivate them if they have some issue when they receive the invitation email, they'll go to the discourse community and post their question there. So yeah, that's that's one other thing that still needs to be done. And another discussion which is happening at the moment is how we manage the swike and how we send the swike. So I think ah. we still have an open question um, on who will pay for the swag and how much we have to pay. Obviously, it's, it's difficult to know in advance uh, how many swag we want to send. Um, but yeah, we I don't have the answer at the moment. I'm just sharing that we are discussing with Alisa and the CDF and other people. Great, thank you. Thanks very much. All right, anything else on Contributor Summit? No, that's all for me, at least for now. Okay. The deprecating Ruby runtime, I'm not sure there's anything we need to report there. We had an item for Daniel to continue reviewing it, uh, I to review it. I assume that I've not seen anything indicating that's been reviewed, so I think we're still on hold there. Jenkins funding updates, as far as I understand it, Gavin and Evelina both have access to the, to the funding system, so that's in progress, nothing other that I need to report unless someone else has something they need to report. Okay, great. And I understand we've got plug-in end of life policy as a topic for the contributor summit. I don't think there's anything more we need to discuss here except being aware that it'll be a topic at contributor summit, prepare ourselves, be sure we're ready to, to discuss and have good plans. If it hasn't been released in three days, it should be de deprecated. <laughs> Two and a half hours. <laughs> Thank you, Gavin. Thirty this minutes. Is, this is continuous delivery. Huh? If you if you don't have to download it every five minutes, it's dead. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I, I I I love an aggressive policy. Boy, that would be a winning aggressive policy. Okay. That uh, one that one scares me. We haven't done an update in four months. I, I I understand, Randall. Yep, that's there. There are plenty of surprises to be found. Yeah, I don't. I think all my plugins are at least a year. So yeah, I know. Okay. Last topic I had put on the agenda. We'd I think already discussed briefly, but anything else that needs to be shared with regard to discourse and and our progress there? I think it's a working grid. Uh, people can register an icon, can ask questions, can participate. We already saw nice um, demo in the show off section that Garrett created. Uh, Garrett, um, Gavin created, sorry. Yeah. Um, so I think it's working well. The only thing that we may do, we may have is more option, like um, being able to use Twitter uh, to authenticate or maybe Google or whatever. That's something that we can improve in the future. But for now, yep. I think we already have something working pretty well. Um, yeah, as much as I think the single sign-on is an, with Linux is a good idea, I don't think very many people have Linux Foundation accounts. I only got one in the last year. So I, the more options we have for social logins, the probably the better. Um, I'm going to send out uh, another blast old email list next week, probably, maybe a week after. I want to make sure that people have time to not get it too often. Um, and then I've been talking to Advocacy SIG, UX SIG, and what did I say the other one was? Oh, and Mark was talking about Doc SIG, about possibly moving the majority of their communication to Discourse to try it out. So I don't know how much we're gonna do that, but I... Oh, okay, that's Zoom be having the dots. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if they're there. Uh, Uli said uh, UX is interested, but and Mark said Docs is interested, but we haven't moved forward to any of them yet. And would that be done with a category? How does how how do you envision that working? I don't know. Honestly, okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because this is one thing uh, what I'm a little bit missing currently from this course. I'm opening this web page and, and there are all messages. And what yeah. I would like to expect is 
where is the UX SIG button? And then I see yeah. only the message from there. So there is a category. Yeah. Uh, so maybe, maybe, maybe I can share, oh, Mark, you can share your screen. Yeah. I can, I can give you a quick overview. Uh -huh. So Olivier, go ahead and share. Yep, I'm, I'm doing it, sharing. Okay, can you see my screen? You should. If, if needs so, be, I'm gonna get rid of that banner. That banner was an accident, but. So when you arrive, when you arrive on committee.jenkins.io, that's usually the, the view that you see. You have, um, I mean, you, you see the active discussions. Something that we, we started to try to understand how we do is the categories. So we can organize discussion by categories. That's one way. And so if we click on the categories, you have different, I would say major categories. That's something that we started working on. It's still, I mean, we still have to improve, but for us, what we thought was to have one major category with Jenkins, using Jenkins, community contributing, providing feedback on the site feedback. Um, and we also have specific categories for language group, Espanol, French, and so on. And so for instance, if you go to contributing, you, we could add a subcategory. So right now, um, we only have um, in the subcategories infrastructure and GSOC. So let's say we could imagine UX if, if you want. And then when you create a new topic, you just start a discussion and then can specify the different categories that you want to have. So you can, all, uh, on the, for instance, specify the top category, which is contributing. You could specify contributing infrastructure. And the way it works is as a user, you can have filters. You can say, I'm only interested by topic in infrastructure under contributing. And so it's really easy to identify what you want to, to read, basically. So that's that's how it's working right now. The, the, does it answer your question about um, having a UX category? So the, 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 the biggest challenge that we have at the moment is to have enough categories so we can organize the discussion but not too much so people are lost in the different categories because you can have level one categories then you can have level two categories and level three and so on you don't really have a limit it's just like level one and level two is really easy to see from here because the top level is the the big box using jenkins community contributing the level two is uh, let's say infrastructure gsoc announcement event so those are the blue box that you see and then level three categories um it's a little bit harder to identify quickly oh no so i know olivier um we have the calendar enabled so when you create your events for the contributing summit you should make sure that they the post has a date set to it the hamburger at the top right Okay. That way it'll show up in calendar so we can start seeing events that are happening around as well. Okay. Thank you. And do, is uh, this course only available in the browser? It's uh, oh, no, they have, a, they, have an, they have an application for Android and iOS. Oh. So it can also work. Um, but not on native, as a, but not on Mac OS or on, on Windows and or Linux. It's just. Yeah, I think it's on your web browser. Yeah. It, they have a, a very rich uh, API. So I would bet you someone has made in a client for it, but it is a web app. So I haven't looked. I mean, we can create a new, uh, a new actually a new wiki topic. topic where people can add clients and tooling their views. So that might be a good idea as well. Yeah, someone yeah. should make a Jenkins plugin for that. It, it had occurred to me. Um, I'm going to make an RSS plugin soon. So when I do that, um, I might make one that we can, I don't know, do something from Jenkins into Discourse. So yeah, we, we can do a lot of things with this course. We are still at the beginning of the process, so we are still learning. Um, and so we are open to feedback as well. It, it looks like there's some activity on GitHub around it. Around it? What do you mean by it? I assume you're muted speaking in Jenkins plugin. Sorry, yeah. It, they're, is some activity around application building for discourse on GitHub, but I don't know mm. how far it's gone. And I, I must say goodbye. I've got another meeting.
to go Goodbye. to. But a pleasure seeing everyone and finally putting a face to the names. Thanks, Randall. Thank you very much for joining us. I'll, I'll try to do so again. Great. Thank Look you. forward to it. So think, we, yeah. we have covered all the topics that I had on the agenda. Are there any other topics? I don't think so. All right. There is, before, there, is, before. there is one last thing that, that I would have loved to review before the contributor summit. Is, I mean, that's the roadmap that we use plan Jenkins.io, but I don't think we'll have the time to review them here. Yeah, I think I think we would want a, a larger larger group and and a more detailed review. Yeah, that that how about we propose that asynchronously? Is your worry that the roadmap may be outdated as published to Jenkins.io? Because we reviewed it two or three weeks ago in in governance. Okay, so yeah, I have to double check. So maybe I was wrong. Okay. I just want. I just wanted to. I, I would have loved to be sure that it was up to date for the contributors. Mm, right. And then I propose that we stop the meeting here. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thanks Bye. Bye. Thanks, Gavin. Bye. Bye. Bye.